Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I am Catherine of Sky, the Belt Diva. So this episode, I definitely want to set up a few things, namely um, refineries, since we don't have those being made anywhere. Uh, and I'll do that right over here. And, and I also want to set up beacon production because that's going to be an important item for us as well. So <clears throat> let me just do that. Be pretty easy. I think I'll have um, beacons need pipes. I mean, um, pardon me, refineries need pipes. And I also need one of these, assembly of machine three for that. So let me go and get some speed modules. I just need four. One, two, three, four. And there they go, back in the box. So that they don't get overproduced totally. All right, and I need some undergrounds from the belt factory. Let me just grab those and some more red inserters. One of my sad little robots is following me home, looks like it. All right. There we go. So this is going to be making pipes. And just regular pipes. And feeding them into there. And let's get one of these guys. And I need, of course, to make the assembling machine. There it goes. Because refineries have lots of lots of components, five of them, in fact. So they need steel, gears, uh, green chips, and stone bricks. So let's get some of that working. Let's get these first. So I can put an underground here. Need it that way. Good. And put the red long-handed inserters there. Great. And we just need to split this off. There we go. And we have bricks. So let's... Uh, how many? It takes forever and a day to make them. Okay. So let's shove them into a box here. I think we'll... Let's wire them up. Uh and tell it to only make like 20 maybe. That should be plenty. So we want to make it work when there are less than 20 in the box. Great. And next item we're going to make is going to be the beacons. Let's put this here. Again, regular inserter right there. Wire it up. And we want to have like 40 beacons, I'm thinking. That sounds reasonable. Less than 40 sets. All right, great. So what do beacons need? They need reds, greens, steel plates, and copper wire. Okay. So we're gonna need some of these, and reds and greens, and copper wire, of course. So put that there trees are closing in. I don't want to get rid of all of them because they do suck up a lot of pollution, which is quite handy, actually. All right, so beacons take 15 seconds. This uh, silver insert is just plenty, plenty fast enough for this. So, okay, so we need about 40 of those. Great. All right. So the iron lines are looking extremely, extremely thin. This is not good. Uh, I need to get that sorted. Let me just plonk down. Um, oh, I need to cut off these copper lines for now because I want these guys to all drain out. Get them all drained out so that we can make these uh, areas with the, the long smelter design. So we have, we can put iron there as well and set up our train station to import stuff. All right, so I need to make more refineries because we're clearly running short. 
So, I'm going to grab these in maybe fives. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five seems reasonable. Why not? I'm going to delete the water for now. These water things. Get rid of these trees here. And this water as well. Because I don't want anything to interfere with this uh, pattern. It's kind of an, a tricky one. Okay, make sure I have three on the one side and two on the other. Excellent. Bonk. Great. And I want to do two of those. Have another one. Oh, and need to get rid of this. These things. Get out of here. Go, go, go. And, okay. And there we are. So that will double our refining capacity, which is good news. Let's make sure we can, the water is connected. Gotta, gotta connect to that. And the water is the one on the left. Okay. Just put one here. And that will give us water. Great. And we also need the water uh, going up here. Cannot forget that. There we go. And just connect it this way. That's easy enough. And here we are. So now I just need the refineries to be put down in their places. I could, I guess I could extend the RoboPort network, but at the moment, eh, I don't know if that's the best idea. Let's uh, see how many are made. Oh, look at this. Less copper. Yay. Okay, how many are in here? Ten. Perfect. That's how many I put down. Excellent. Oops, and I need to get rid of these this coal line as well here. Because this is not needed at all. Let's go through the trees. Get my robots to do my bidding. Come on, robots. Oh, look how brave they are. They don't even want me to run down here. They're just going all on their own. Brave little souls. Yes. Alright. Excellent. So... Now I just need to make sure the oil is connected. There it is. Good. And now they're all working. Excellent. This is great. So what we're going to need to do is watch for any buildup of light oil in here. Um, and see if we need more cracking after that. That's what we're watching for. So let me get rid of some of this stuff need to take away or at least move this robo port to be somewhere like there maybe seems okay oh that's not connected come on thing now does this connect ah oh, yes it connects that way that's good <sighs> all right and we shall get all of this coal grab it all up so the robots don't have to process it Oops. come on there we go and there we are nice So this can turn into a blue belt and these guys can get serviced that way oh wow I have a ton of coal um let me just plonk down a chest and put it somewhere useful okay <clears throat> actually this is a decent spot here 
I'll just put down an iron chest and have it feeding directly into this plastic factory. There we are. No problems at all. And hopefully it will prioritize that chest over the belt. Oh wow, we have plastic buildup. Nice. Um, I wonder what we're lacking. That's a good question. Because it really shouldn't be building up. We really... Uh, oh, we're out of green circuits. And green circuits are low because iron is low. All right. Well, we're on the right course of action at least. We are getting things together. Which is pretty important. Here. And we'll start deconstructing this stuff then. Because we do not need it. All right. Good robots, yay. The only annoying thing is that the um, steel furnaces cannot be uh, recycled. I always like recycling, it's a good thing. It's a good fun thing. All right. Let me just um, put these put copper back on the line here with a couple of um, There, there we go. So I'll be taking more out of these machines very shortly. Gotta make sure things are connected. These are pretty much running off of their last remaining bits of coal. So let's just delete them. Oh, the lights went too. Oh, or was that just daytime lights? Oh no. Okay, there we go. Let's put some nice lighting down here. Okay. Oops, there we are. Nice. So this, um, in reality, needs to go down here. So I'm going to cut these lines for now. And let that get drained away. Because it's pretty important that it does get drained. All right, let's go get rid of this. Why are you guys waiting with red belts? Hmm. Not sure why that happened. All right. Okay, so there wasn't as much copper as I thought. That's really good. Pretty cool. So we can get rid of these guys here. and connect up these copper lines so that we can get some copper being fed into the main bus again. And just upgrade it to blue belt because we'll need it eventually, that's for sure. Right. Whoops. This is the tricky bit when you're wearing uh, fast shoes and uh, trying to get on a specific line. Okay, so this yellow belt is actually needs to be blue. Yes, and we definitely need something like Upgrade Planner in the vanilla game, just to change all these belts over quickly. That would be really nice. Nice, nice, nice. 
All right. So let me upgrade this um, balancer here. Make it more efficient. All right, excellent. And now that we have the final upgraded uh, blue balancer, I'm going to blueprint it. This I don't think I need to blueprint. This actually can go in my blueprint book. I like to have the pump jack and uh, beacon with speed modules in as a blueprint permanently in there. Makes it easier. And then this will also go in my blueprint book under belts. And I can take out the four lanes of yellow belts because I don't want that anymore. I will convert it to blues. All right, so let's recycle some of these belts. I'm just going to shove them in here. And some of the yellows as well. I really don't need those. Okay. And then also these. Oh, whoops. Why did I do this? I think these are wired. Yes, so I don't need to. I don't know why I had that one uh, blocked. No idea. Must have just done it out of habit. Okay, so, hmm, I have stone, of course, and steel furnaces, which need to go back into the storage chests of oblivion here. Um, now, oh, we need to upgrade this thing. I forgot about this interchange. Got so excited about the corner, I forgot about that. And I need also to have corners. I need to make sure I get these corners going. Are these proper corners? They should be okay, I guess. I like to do a blueprint of a four wide corner because I tend to build in either fours or eights. Uh, and the four wide corner is perfect just to plonk down so you don't have to spend so much time fiddling with um, making the belts uh, turn. So this is a what I would call a left corner. So I'm just going to put an L. Um, and then what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to plonk it and then I'm going to actually re redo this because I want it to just face upward. Um, it's much easier when I look through the blueprint book to build a left corner by scrolling through and seeing, ah, that is facing left. Um, and then I will get the other one for the right corner as well. And here we go. This is going to be right. It's already facing the correct direction, so I'm not going to bother plonking it anywhere. All right. Do I not have straight rails somewhere? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I tend to try to keep things a little bit organized in my book, having the, the railroad on one level and then the, uh, the belts on the other, and then at the top having production stuff if I possibly can. Okay, so let's get these furnace lines going. We now have space. This is good. I think I need to... Okay, let's get rid of these belts first. Well, yeah, get rid of the belts first of all. <clears throat> And I think I'll get rid of this robo port as well because um, it's in the wrong spot. Is this one okay? That one is okay. It lines up with this one. Looks like it's going to take out two furnaces, but that's okay. It's not really that critical. I don't really mind that much. Just so long as it doesn't take out more than that. Okay, I'll put that one there. Great. 
So I think I have these guys here somewhere. There they are. I believe they're the correct. Yeah, they are. So what I'm going to do is just plunk and plunk all in line. Oh dear. These are red belted. Annoying. That's okay. All right. Well, let me just take out these extra inserters because that can cause a havoc because what they'll do is they'll take out the robots from the, <laughs> from the, the robo ports. And then you'll have robots randomly on your lines. And it's, it's extremely inconvenient. I know this, trust me, it's a fact. It happens. It has happened to me. Okay. So now I'm missing a robo port close by. I think when I moved this one, it was the wrong, wrong place to move it. So let me move it again. So it connects. Um, actually it will work right there. That's perfect. Great. Okay, good. And this, I'm going to move this splitter up a bit. And this one, like this. And just have this one going underneath, and that's just fine. Alright, so let's just make sure everything's connected. It's all in the construction zone. Great, 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 great. It's looking good. So these four are going to be copper only. And then these guys are going to move and give us iron. I think I can probably fit maybe two columns before the iron zone is here. Uh, the, the rest of the iron mining, I guess you could call it. Oh, I took a uh, radar up. Let me put that radar back down here. What I might do is just reallocate the drills to work better. Okay, but what I really need to do is I need to get these guys working and proper lines of blue belt in fours. One, two, three, four. I'm going to blueprint this and just kind of like paint belt all over the place, basically. And this is going to be the copper. Come on, guys, come on, get going. these in my trash. Maybe some friendly robots will take them away. We shall see. And then get this better acquainted there. Good, good. Put these things back. All right. <clears throat> and my belt. Go back. Great. So ah, that is my cat. I don't know if you heard her or not. She, she loves to chat. But I think she is wanting a snack, probably. Yes, Arabella, just a moment. Well, she knows that it's time for the episode to be done. Uh, thank you so very much for watching. I'm Catherine of Sky. Take care of yourselves and each other. See you next time.